Today we're talking about youth helmets and the new Virginia Tech uh, testing protocol for youth helmets. Long time coming, some interesting results. There were seven helmets that scored five stars on the test, and there were 17 total helmets tested. Eight shut helmets, six Riddell helmets, two Zenith helmets, and one Vices helmet. I'm surprised that only 70 or not even percent of them are five star. Well, you've had these helmets have been out for some of them for years. True. true right. Yeah. And there has been no standard or there has been no test for youth helmets up until now. So now that we have a test and a standard, I would be shocked if any new youth helmets came out that didn't score five stars. It's probably going to lead to banning some youth helmets soon, wouldn't you think? Um, like, I don't know. Probably not in 2019, but I bet you in the next, you know, two, three years, you're going to see the competitiveness Possibly. of these companies. I'll say the lowest scoring helmet or helmets got three stars. So they did four tests or hits with kind of like a battering ram, Steve, mm -hmm. a pendulum impactor. They basically, they take this thing, it swings into the helmets and they did it at three different velocities in each one of these positions. And they did it on two different helmets of the same type. And then they basically took all those results, crunched the numbers, and gave it a score. All right. Lower the score, the better. Um, but here are the interesting things. And, and, and just so you know, the, the four hits were front, kind of they call it front boss, kind of up at the top, right. and then side and back. Yeah, okay. it's important spots. Yep. And what we got is we got seven helmets with five stars. But for the helmets that scored five stars, the weight range was 3.9 to 4.2 pounds. So what is that? So, so that you? tells me that the heavier helmets scored the best. Mm -hmm. Probably because of the beefed up padding and components on the helmets to make them safer. Of course. So there are a lot of people who think the lighter the helmet, the better. And there's that kind of seems to make sense on the surface. But the reality is sometimes the more padding and cushioning you can put in there, the 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 more you're reducing that impact, um, the energy of that impact when you take the hit. That's interesting. And then price ranges for these helmets is also interesting. $110 all the way up to $570. These are prices that Virginia Tech paid for the helmets. And they just went out and bought them. So the Vice's Zero One Youth Helmet, which is brand new. I don't even know if they're delivering them yet, but if they're not, they're gonna be delivering them shortly. I know they started taking pre-orders a few months ago. Um, at $495, certainly one of the more expensive helmets, uh, but it's it's the top helmet by a decent margin, too. I, I saw that. It's kind of not even close. They definitely knocked this test out of the park. You know, the, one of the questions we hear all the time is, you know, are these tests actually making football safer? The reality is it's making the manufacturers build helmets that perform better on the tests. And then are those helmets safer on the field? Well, they're tests are trying to mimic the hitting on the field. So you could use, eh, pretty much, yeah. Children have larger heads in proportion to the rest of their body than adults. And they also have weaker necks. And it's that weak neck that, you know, could, could, could lead to, you know, just your head kind of flailing around, you know, hitting the ground. You know, a lot of the concussions in youth happen when the hit, kids fall back and their head hits the the ground. Well, I do like seeing that this is finally a thing. It's amazing to me it took this long for youth helmets to actually be scrutinized by Virginia Tech. I'm glad that they're doing it. If you are a youth uh, player or a parent of a youth player or brother or sister, what type of helmet does he wear? What kind of, um, you know, does he or she like it? Um, have they had concussions? Um, what have they done about it? What kind of things that are you seeing out there on the field, not just with your um, son or daughter or you know player but your teammates as well I mean is concussions um, a thing in your world that you see um, as much as we hear about it because we typically only hear about concussions on the adult stage and then it's the really bad ones you hear about with youth um, we really appreciate it like subscribe click the notification bell for more videos like this until next time cheers cheers